a member of parliament from Montreal announces that she will spend her weekend in her electoral district. This means she would be in the part of Montreal where she was elected. After a federal election, which party forms the new government? The party with the most elected representatives is invited by the governor general to become the party in power. Approximately how many Canadians served in the First World War? More than 600,000. Canada has three territories and how many provinces? Chain. Fatima is a new immigrant in Canada. What law allows her to take up job at par with men? Equality of women and men. From where does the name Canada come from? From Canada, the Huron Iroquois word for village. Give an example of how you can show responsibility by participating in your community. Volunteer. Give an example of where English and friends have equal status in Canada. In the Parliament of Canada. Give the first two lines of Canada's national anthem. O Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all Thai sons command. How are members of parliament chosen? Elected by Canadian citizens. How are senators chosen? Senators are appointed by the governor general on the advice of the prime minister. How does a bill become a law? Approval by a majority in the House of Commons and Senate and finally the Governor General. How is a cabinet minister chosen? By the Prime Minister. How is the government formed after a federal election? The party with the most elected representatives becomes the party in power. The leader of this party becomes the Prime Minister. How is the Prime Minister chosen? The leader of the party with the most elected representative becomes the Prime Minister. How many Canadians have been awarded the Victoria Cross, the highest honor available to Canadian? 96. In Canada, are you allowed to question the police about their service or conduct? Yes, if you feel the need to. In Canada's justice system, what does presumption of innocence mean? Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. In the 1960s, Quebec experienced an era of rapid change. What is this called? A quiet revolution. In what industry do most Canadians work? Service. In what region do more than half the people in Canada live? Central Canada. Name all the federal political parties in the House of Commons and their leaders. Conservative, NDP, Liberal, Bloc, Quebecois, Green Party. Name six responsibilities of citizenship. Obeying the law. Taking responsibility for oneself and one family, helping others in the community, voting in the elections, serving on a jury, 
protecting and enjoying our heritage and environment. Name the five regions of Canada. Atlantic, Central, Prairie, West Coast, and North. Name three additional rights protected by the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Mobility rights, multiculturalism, and Aboriginal people rights. Name two fundamental freedoms protected by Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Freedom of conscience and religion. Freedom of association. Name two key documents that concern our rights and freedom. Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom and Magna Carta, a great charter of freedom. Name two responsibilities of the federal government. National Defense and Foreign Policy. Name two responsibilities of provincial and territorial government, health and education. On what did it Nunavut become territory? April 1st, 1999. One third of all Canadians live in which province? Ontario. The Canadian code of arms and motto is Amari Osqui Admir. This means from sea to sea. What are some examples of taking responsibility for yourself and your family? Getting a job, taking care of one family, and working hard in keeping with one abilities. What are the Perry provinces and their capital city? Alberta, Edmonton, Saskatchewan, Regina, Manitoba, Winnipeg. What are the provinces of Central Canada and their capital cities? Ontario, Toronto, and Quebec, Quebec City. What are the provinces of Atlantic region and their capital cities? Newfoundland and Labrador, St. John, Nova Scotia, Halifax, New Brunswick, Fredericton, and Prince Edward Island, Charlotte Town. What are the territories of Northern Canada and their capital cities? Yukon Territory, Whitehorse, Northwest Territories, Yellowknife, and Nunavut, Iqaluit. What are the three levels of government in Canada? Federal, Provincial, and Territorial, Municipal, Local. What are the three main groups of Aboriginal peoples? First Nation, Matthews, and Inuit. What are the three main types of industry in Canada? Natural resources, manufacturing, and services. What are the three parts of Parliament? The Queen, the House of Commons, and the Senate. What are the two official languages of Canada? English and French. What country is Canada's largest trading partner? United States of America. What did the Canadian Pacific Railway symbolize? Unity. What did the Father of Confederation do? They worked together to establish a new country, the Dominion of Canada. What do you call a law before it passed? 
a bill. What do you call the sovereign representatives in the provinces? Lieutenant Governor. What do you mark on a federal election ballot? An X. What does confederation mean? Joining a provinces to make a new country. What does it mean to say Canada is constitutional monarchy? Canada's head of state is a hereditary sovereign who resides in accordance with the constitution. What does the right to secret ballot means? No one can watch your vote and no one should look at how you voted. What does the Canadian flag look like? White with a red border on each end and a red maple leaf in the center. What does the term responsible government mean? The ministers of Crown must have the support of a majority of elected representatives in order to govern. What does the word Inuit mean? The people in the Inuktitut language. What happened at the Battle of Plains of Abraham? The British defeated the French, marking the end of France empire in America. What is Francophone? A person who speaks French as their first language. What is a major river in Quebec? Saint Lawrence River. What is a majority government? When the party in power hold at least half of the seat in the House of Commons. What is a voter information card? A form that tells you when and where to vote. What is Canada's national winter sport? Hockey. What is Canada's system of government called? Parliamentary government. What is meant by the equality of women and men? Men and women are equal under the law. What is the head tax? Race based entry fee charge for Chinese entering Canada. What is the capital of Canada? Ottawa. What is the difference between the role of sovereign and that of the prime minister? The sovereign is the guardian of constitutional freedoms. The prime minister select the cabinet ministers and is responsible for operation and policy of government. What is the government of all of Canada called federal? What is the highest court in Canada? The Supreme Court of Canada. What is the highest military honor a Canadian can receive? Victoria Cross. What is the largest religious affiliation in Canada? Catholic. What is the meaning of the Remembrance Day Poppy? To remember the sacrifice of Canadians who have served or died in wars up to the present day.
What is the name of Governor General David Johnston? What is the name of Prime Minister of Canada and is her party? Justin Trudeau Liberal Party. What is the name of Royal Anthem of Canada? God save the Queen or King. What is the population of Canada? About 34 million. What is the role of courts in Canada? To settle dispute? What is the role of opposition parties? To oppose or try to improve government proposals? What is the significance of the discovery of insulin by Sir Frederick Benting and Charles Best? Insulin has saved 16 million lives worldwide. What part of Constitution? legally protects the basic rights and freedoms of all Canadians. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. What percentage of Aboriginal people are First Nations? 65% What should you do if you do not receive a voter information card? Telling you when and where to vote? Call Elections Canada or visit their website. What song is Canada's national anthem? Oh Canada. What three oceans? border Canada, Atlantic, Arctic, and Pacific. What was the Underground Railroad? An anti-slavery network that helped thousands of slaves escape the United States and settle in the Canada. What was the significance of June 6, 1944, invasion of Normandy? Canadians made a significant contribution to the defeat of Nazism and Fascism in Europe during the Second World War. What was the women's suffrage moment? The effort by women to achieve the right to vote. What will you promise when you take the oath of citizenship? Pledge allegiance to the Queen, observe the laws of Canada, and fulfill the duties of a Canadian. What year did Newfoundland and Labrador join Canada? 1949 What year was Confederation? 1867 When asked who must you tell how you voted in a federal election? No one. When did the British North America Act 
come into effect. 1867 When did the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms become part of the Canadian Constitution? 1982 When is Canada Day and what does it celebrate? We celebrate the anniversary of Confederation July 1st of each year. When is Remembrance Day celebrated? November 11th. When must federal elections be held? On the third Monday in October, every four years following the most recent general election. When you vote on election day, what do you do? Go to the voting station with your voter card and ID, mark an X next to your chosen candidate, hold the ballot and present it to the poll officials who will tears of the ballot number and give you the ballot to deposit in the box. Where are the Great Lakes? Between Ontario and the United States. Where are the parliament buildings located? Ottawa Where do most French-speaking Canadians live? Quebec Where does Canada rank in the world largest countries second which act granted for the first time in canada legislative assemblies elected by the peoples the constitutional act of 1791 